Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film three, th four, I nearly said three, but it's now four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So for this video, I have written so many notes because we're going to talk about eight things that couples need to keep their relationship healthy. This was a requested video on my Instagram, but I came up with eight. So let's just jump straight into it. So number one, and this one is like the hardest thing for me to grasp and realize because we always settle and we always go for the opposite of this but number one is compatibility and I feel like we are not taught especially in school when we're around other children and stuff we are not taught how to discern whether somebody is compatible or not because we feel like we need to be friends with everyone and we feel like if somebody doesn't like us, it's because there's something wrong with us. We constantly try to make sure that we are liked and accepted by every single person. And when that doesn't happen, we don't know what to do with ourselves. And I feel like this then progresses into adulthood as not knowing when friendships have ended and when romantic relationships have come to an end. And also not even knowing when somebody that you've just met is not actually compatible with you and that you don't even need to have a second date or a second conversation because it's clear from the first one that they're not compatible but we don't really grasp this or understand how to tell the difference so I am going to film a video all about compatibility because this has been a recent lesson for me unfortunately and I feel like it's such a necessary part of life so that video will be coming soon and if it's already out when you're now watching this, if you're watching this months later, it will be linked up here somewhere for you to be able to watch it. <laughs> so number two is communication. And I've written to resolve issues, to express our wants and needs, to discuss sex and what we like and don't like, as well as sexual health. Because communication in a lot of ways and in a lot of areas like we've been trained and I'm going to talk for women as well because I am a woman we have been conditioned to shrink ourselves to not express our wants and needs especially when it comes to sex and sexual health but in all areas of life to be honest we've been taught that we have to like just put on a smile and a pretty face and just sit there and be quiet kind of thing so we don't really assert our boundaries or our needs or even come to understand what those are for ourselves so for number two it is communication because we really need to learn how to speak up and say how we feel and say what we want and what we like and what we don't like and what we need and what we don't need and where our boundaries lie you know and be able to communicate about what we like in the bedroom and what we don't like in the bedroom and also sexual health it's just essential things and essential part of relationships so I have put that as number two communication and also being able to obviously listen to the other person because they need to be able to communicate to you as well and be received and heard and understood and not just listening to each other just to yell back and you know get in a fight like it's supposed to be you're communicating to hear each other and to understand each other so it's important and number three which kind of goes along the same lines of that is compassion understanding and listening because you can communicate all day every day but if the other person is not hearing you they're not listening they're not actually understanding or grasping what you're saying then you're literally wasting your energy and your time so having compassion in relationships means that you're able to put yourself in other people's shoes and see where they're coming from even if you don't agree with what it is that they have to say at least you can understand where they're coming from so that you can come at it from a place of love rather than from a place of anger and frustration so listening understanding and compassion and number four is respect, which kind of rolls into all of them. You know, if you don't have respect for somebody, then how the hell is the relationship going to work? And sometimes when you're with someone and certain things happen, you lose respect for each other. And I think once that respect is gone, it's not going to work. 
you know, because respect is kind of a human foundation of all relationships, you know, like the reason people are mean or nasty or whatever is because they just don't hold any respect for not only the other person, but for themselves. So we need to have respect for each other and just be kind because it costs nothing. <laughs> Number five is doing their own shadow work or their own inner work, healing their inner child, healing their traumas. I feel like this is an essential part to keep relationships healthy because if you're doing your shadow work and they're not, then you're going to feel re resentful and they're not going to understand you, you know, and I've experienced this. I know exactly what that's like and it's not fun. And also if neither of you are doing your shadow work, then this is when toxic relationships happen, lots of arguments happen, bringing trauma from the past into the present. I have a video on that. That also can happen. Like if, if you're not doing your shadow work, then you're just creating messes for yourself and bringing a lot of wounds into your relationships and that can blow up in your face in a million and one ways so I feel like it's really important that both people are doing their shadow work because it will help them it will help both people to find compassion and respect and be able to communicate like it will literally just help all areas of connection and relationship and interactions so it's really important I think and number six is space for themselves and space for yourself. So whether this is space for them to go off with their friends and you go off with yours or whether it's just space to go to work or things like that or whether it's space for you to have alone time and be able to like meditate and just take care of yourself, you know, have a day watching TV by yourself or whatever it is that you like to do. I feel like having space to just be by yourself is so so important because if you're in each other's space constantly and you're on top of each other it just becomes just uh, draining and toxic and you don't even have a chance to miss each other because you're just around each other 24 7 so I really feel like having your own space for both people is very very healthy not just even in romantic relationships but all relationships you need that time away from people to just be able to really hear your own thoughts and hear what's going on inside yourself and that might not even be about the other person it could be about anything it could be about stresses at work or you know anything but to be able to just tune into yourself and your own heart is so so essential in life and I do feel like a lot of relationships can be very codependent and very enmeshed into each other and this is where you get trauma bonding I do have a video on trauma bonding if you want to check that out but yeah just having space is really important I think <laughs> and number seven not to take everything personally and I put projections in relationships having a bad day the nuances of emotions and mood swings like sometimes people are just in a bad mood and they may lash out, they may something, say something that they didn't mean, they may snap at you. And I do think that in relationships, along with having space, is the space to not take everything personally because it's not always about you. And if you're both doing your shadow work, then both of you will be aware of when it's not about each other, you know? So the person that lashes out will also be aware that they're taking it out on their partner and that they need to stop and they shouldn't be doing that. If they're doing the shadow work, then they'll instantly become aware of it when they do it. And then the other person will also be aware that it's not personal and that they didn't mean it and it's okay kind of thing. And I feel like you both learn how to move through that dynamic when you're aware that it's not personal. And I also feel like you learn not to do it because it still isn't right to take it out on your partner. But like I said, nuances of emotion, like our emotions are always fluctuating and our moods are always fluctuating. So these things happen. <laughs> and if we take everything personally, then you're just going to be arguing 24-7, <laughs> to be honest. And finally, number eight is to have a little fun and not take everything so seriously. And I do kind of struggle with this sometimes, is that it's okay to like live a little <laughs> and 
can just kind of let go a little and not need everything to be serious conversations and everything to be deep conversations and everything to just you know, be so serious all the time, it's okay to just go be silly, let your inner child come out together, just have a little fun, you know, let loose, and I feel like having those kind of date nights where you can just go out and do things together that are fun and not worry about all of the other things especially all of like the survival mode type things that go on in our daily lives, when you set that time aside to just go have fun together, be silly, let your inner child come out, I feel like that's just essential. And now I've just thought of number nine, which I can't believe I didn't even include, but that's trust. So we're going to add this to this video right now. Trust is essential and I really feel like from my own experience, a lack of trust in others comes from a lack of trust in yourself. So if we're not doing our shadow work, yet again, shadow work, if we're not doing that, then we're not going to become aware of when we are not trusting people. And this can be in so many areas of our lives and it trickles into our romantic relationships as well. So trust is essential in any relationship. You need to be able to trust your partner to go out and do things. I think I'm going to make a full video on this because I could sit here for 10 million years talking about trust. So yes, I am going to make a full video on trust, but I really feel like it's so, so, so important in relationships. So when it's uploaded, I will link it up here somewhere for you to click on it. But yes, I hope this video was helpful. That is all that I can think of right now. I think. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to make that video and there's always more coming every week. So definitely check out the rest of my videos on my YouTube and you can also comment down below if you have anything that you're dealing with, anything that you want me to film a video on. Definitely comment below and I will do. And also you can check out the description box below for all links to my music, my phone number, my social media, my crystal healing jewellery, which you can grab on my Etsy store, my merch, so, so much more. It's all in the description box below. And also like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. You could say I love you. I can't get enough, but I just want you to myself.